Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of these two guys right here. These are the Scout Leather Company Hexbit Drivers. First off, though, I want to thank my Patreon patrons for uh, making this possible. A buddy of mine said, hey, Nick, these are back in stock. I'd always been curious about it, and I figured, okay, well, a lot of people like disassembling stuff who watch my channel. Let's give it a try, see if they're worthwhile, and having a group of people who are willing to support me makes that a lot easier. So thank you, Patreon patrons. Next thing, let's do a little size comparison right quick. Here it is against Spydeco Delica. As you can see here that these are um, not particularly large. Um, here it is against the Ontario Rat 1. I'm going to be using throughout this this is uh, uh, this process as a uh, demonstration. And then uh, here it is against the driver that I have conventionally used on the channel, and that is this little guy. This is the iFixit. Uh, I think it's just a 4mm driver. Uses a different size bit for what it's worth as opposed to it's using one of those versus one of those. But still, you can definitely see there's a, uh, a difference there. And uh, yeah, I think that should do it for size comparison. And actually, I'll do a quick measurement for you right quick. These guys are Coming in at uh, 3.24 inches long overall, or 82.5 millimeters. So there you go. Um, that gives you a little sense of what's going on here. The biggest thing, the elephant in the room with these guys, is that including this little bit set here, and just these bits... And the two that are in there, actually, there's one more bit around here someplace. Here it is. Um, anyways, including just these bits here, the uh, this pair costs 120 US dollars. And so the big question here is going to be: Is it worth it? Is it remotely a good idea to spend 120 bucks on a pair of screwdrivers with bits? And that's kind of the approach I'm taking to this guy. So, anyways, let's talk about what's good about these guys, what's not so good about these guys, and then kind of address that elephant in the room. So, on the good side, to start with, they stand up. You set on the bearing end, absolutely stand there, no freaking problem. Next thing, they hold a standard size bit. This is just your generic sort of bit size. I don't even know how to quantify it. It's probably something... Looks like quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch. Um, So they, they, they are standard size bit. And in fact, they are held in there with a magnet. Takes a little bit of force to pull them out, but not much force at all. It's it's actually kind of nice. Um, I, I, that part, switching bits is quite easy, so that's good. Next thing, um, they have a bearing at the end here. So you can see here that this little part in the back here kind of spins vaguely. If I spin it, it spins. It's not like full-on fidget spinner. I got this driver over here from Alexander Peshkov. It's like, holy crap, fidget spinnery. These are just kind of bearings. They rotate. That's about where it lands. But it's nice there because as you're doing the uh, disassembly here, I'll, I'll use my, uh, here, I'll use the one with D6. What's nice is as you're using it, you can just kind of brace this in your hand and then just rotate, 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 rotate. And the driver is able to stay still. You're able to keep pressing, putting pressure on there um, without, you know, having to move anything in your hand. And frankly, it's even a little bit more convenient with the size there because on this guy that, that you're really having to kind of push forward with your fingers. So, you know, whatever, it's, it's a thing. And I like having those bearings there. Um, next thing, these guys do offer some nice torque, both by virtue of the fact that they are relatively wide at this point. Here, I'll measure it again. Bust out my calipers, about half an inch wide at the middle part there. Um, and they also offer a, a good amount of knurling right here, which allows you to get a fair amount of torque on there. Um, with a very smooth driver, that can be occasionally difficult, um, whereas these guys absolutely do have that there. So that's nice. Um, next thing, the size on these guys is quite nice. I have smaller hands than most, but these fit nicely in my hand. And, uh, you know, are, uh, they're a reasonably nice size for things. Um, I, I, I appreciate that. Um, and also the weight of these is nice. Although I'll say they do weigh different amounts, which makes sense because they're made of two different metals. But um, this guy comes in at uh, 2.64 ounces. This guy at 2.72. Not a huge difference, but having a little bit of weight to them can be nice. And it allows, if nothing else, it's just for kind of the inertia of it all. Um, because as you're spinning things, especially as you're starting to, here, I'll pull this guy up. Then after a point, you can just kind of do this flicky thing where you flick it and then it, it keeps unspinning a little bit. Um, having a little bit more weight can give you a little bit more inertia, but still having a little weight there is not a bad thing at all. And then finally, on the good side, honestly, these are beautiful objects. I mean, seriously, take a look at these. It's attractive. Absolutely 100% attractive. Um, th 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 there's no real objection to that. Um, and, you know, same thing over here. I mean, they're, they're, they're nicely machined. They're, they're, they're beautiful objects so far as any screwdriver is going to be beautiful. So to me, that's what's good is they're beautiful objects. The weight and size are nice. Um, the knurling and the, the diameter offers you plenty of torque. Um, it takes a standard bit. Uh, it's got the bearing on the end and it does stand up on the bearing on the end. See? 
look inside. Huh? There you go. Um, on the bad side, um, to start with, the, the bearings on this guy are actually not quite as impressive as I expected. Um, it, look, do I need them to be super impressive? No, but it can actually be helpful. But they, uh, you know, with this guy, you can really do a lot more spinning with it, and that gets you a lot further. You can kind of, if you grab this area, it, it'll rotate a great deal more. Part of that's because this is a little bit heavier, but still. Um, the, the, the bearings on here aren't super impressive, and this is kind of a high-end luxury good. It strikes me as weird that they didn't go a little crazy with that, but that's not a big deal. Another thing that's not a big deal, but was kind of frustrating to me, is um, when I went online and ordered these, I ordered what is in the little menu, the HBD Brass and Copper Pair with Weeha Bit Set. So what I read that as is you buy a pair of brass and copper with Weeha bit set, which means you would get two Weeha bit sets. Um, and that makes a lot of sense because very often you're going to be dealing, particularly in the, the pocket knife world, you're going to be having uh, free spinning pivots where you're going to need to have a T8 on this side and a T8 on this side and then be kind of counter rotating the, 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 like this or something like that. That's not what's going on here. These are the wrong bits and whatnot. But still, uh, where, where you'll be playing games like that, and so it's useful to actually have two of the same Phillips head, two of the same Torx, etc. Um, when I got this guy, though, I was dismayed to find that they only included one set of bits. I emailed them to say, hey, where's the other set of bits? Oh, no, 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 it only comes with one. Now, look, um, at some level, I get that. That's completely just, it's a little bit ambiguous in how they had it phrased there. I read it as a pair of drivers with Weeha bit set, and they read it as a pair of drivers with a Weeha bit set. That's fine. But the thing is, this is a $120 set of drivers. Guys, come on. Uh, it's not a big deal, but honestly, if you're making something that's priced, that's, you know, this is priced for opulence, let's be real here, it feels a little bit weird to just kind of like, oh, no, no, we're not including that. It's, I don't know, it's got that batteries not included feeling to it. I get that driver sets are not cheap, but... I, I struggle to believe that there's not a little padding in here. If you're buying the whole shebang, not that not to be able to get that in there. Whatever, not a huge deal, but it was a little frustrating. Um, the, the biggest issue with these guys, and the thing that everybody's going to be shouting about in the comments, oh my god, you bourgeois bastard, take your drivers back to Whole Foods. Um, you know, this is 120 bucks for a pair of sprue drivers and a single set of bits. Um, if that was, if like, uh, you got, you know, two sets of bits with a couple of spares and everything were included, and they were just perfection incarnate in every way. And mind you, they're, they're very nicely made. Um, then, then maybe, I guess, but holy crap, is that a lot of money? You know, I'm checking out for this and I'm just feeling like, wow. Uh, it's astounding. And so, to me at least, that's that's not great. And that was the bad here, is that, you know, they're really freaking expensive, that they didn't include two-bit sets when I sure thought they would for this price, and that the bearings aren't super impressive, but they don't particularly need to be, I guess. Um, the Final conclusions on this guy, I mean, the big question, the $120 question is, should I buy this pair of drivers? Are these worth the money? Um, To me, honestly, the easy answer is no. Um, look, even doing a lot of disassembly, I don't find that these are doing anything 120 bucks better than a basic driver. Using, for instance, this little guy right here, you know, I can get 90% of the action I want very, very readily. I will say that it is nicer to have this guy kind of in the hand here um, with a little bit of extra torque that you're getting from this more severe knurling. I mean, they are nice to use. They do feel very nice. But the thing is, this is, and the inertia, the for turning, it's a little bit nice. But honestly, um, it's kind of a case study in diminishing returns, Con considering that this is 10 bucks here. And, you know, you can buy the entire bit kit and this for 50 bucks. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. I mean, the, 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 yeah, these are a little better, but holy crap, that. Um, but so functionally speaking, I can't say there's a good reason to buy these guys at this price. Um, it's not really something you would do for functionality. That said, they are beautiful objects, and that's kind of what this is about. If you are interested in taking your disassembly workstation and gilding it, you want to have the most beautiful tools to work on your most beautiful tools, then sure, why not, I, I guess. And I can see the appeal here. As somebody who fetishizes his tools, like, yeah, I guess. Sure, and let's be real here. It'd be hypocritical for me to call somebody out for buying these guys when, when something cheap would work, because, yeah. I mean, I specialize in really expensive things that just work no better than cheaper objects. I'm wearing a $3,000 quartz watch as I film this review, so, you know, yeah. But the thing is, um, it, it just, for some reason, it, it didn't quite land it. And so, for me, it kind of comes down to the price. If these guys were like 30 bucks a piece, then sure, yeah, why not? Um, and if you just need a tool, uh, but the thing is, that is, the thing is, if you just need a tool here, then you can get much, well, you can get performance that's just about as good um, for much, much cheaper. Like, 
like I said, you can buy this guy for 10 bucks from iFixit. And then for the price of the pair of these drivers, you can buy two of these Weha bit sets, which include more bits than they would have included. And you're getting the pair, you're getting extenders, you're getting all that kind of thing, as well as a couple of extra backup bits for when the, the your T6s strip out. Um, And you, you'd still have a little bit of money left over. And I, honestly, that's where I'm going to send you every day of the week. If you say, Nick, should I buy these two drivers with the one set of bits, or should I buy two sets of these and one of these handles? Well, heck, you could buy two handles for this, no problem. I, this is going to be the better deal. But the thing is, they are nice. They are beautiful. And, you know, I can see the appeal, I guess. But in terms of actually recommending things to people, honestly, yeah, I, I just go back there because the Curve of Diminishing Returns is beautiful here. So if the beauty of the tools is paramount, the money is just meaningless to you, then sure, go for it. But ultimately, even though I am probably as close to the target market for something like this as is ever going to exist, I'm afraid these just didn't quite get me to the point where it's like, yep, you should buy one. So, yeah, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you. I really hope they're able to get the price down a little bit on these guys because, ooh, yoy, yoy. Um, and that if you do get them, that you love them. But uh, like I said, you don't need these guys. I'm not even sure whether I'm going to keep using these guys just because they are so hard to recommend at the price. I don't know. A little improvement, but diminishing. I don't freaking know. Either way, it's complicated. But there you go. Hope this is interesting to you and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.